Hi guys, Micro here. This is my player owned farms animals for XP guide. This video is typically like a 1 to 99 farming guide only covering player owned farms. It goes into detail what animals in what pen you should do at each level and how long they take to grow alongside how much XP they give. So let's get into it. Before we get into this video, I just want to talk about how this is just for XP. This isn't talking about breeding, this isn't talking about saving money, this isn't talking about any of that stuff. This is how I do player own farms and this is how I get the most amount of experience every single week from doing it. I typically get about 3 to 4 mil experience in farming every single week just by doing player own farms and buying the dragons, the zygomites and the chins and whatever I use. In this guide I'll be going through every single tier of the leveling process. So if you're not level 99 you're not going to be able to do everything. So there'll be links in the description for small animals and the levels required for those. Medium animals and the levels required for those. And large animals and the level required for those. So if you're a specific level and you want to know what to put in each pen there'll be specific timestamps in the description categorized as small, medium and large. Breaking them down into these three things makes it much easier. The thing you want to do though is unlock every single pen as soon as possible. So make sure you're selling animals to the traders to get beans to buy every single pen. I just wanted to make it clear that I'm not talking about any breeding, I'm not talking about anything other than XP in this guide. Another thing that's important to note is that you do not have to feed your animals in order for them to grow. As you can see in my troughs I literally have nothing. There's nothing in any of these troughs but my animals still grow. My dragons are adults. They're not happy or anything but they are growing. If you want to feed your animals sure go ahead but if you want to save a bit of money you don't have to feed your animals at all unless you want to breed them. Because we're not breeding and we're going for pure XP in this video you don't actually have to feed them whatsoever. That means every week or so I put new dragons in, every half a week I put new zygomites in and I don't worry about any food or anything like that and I just buy the zygomites of the GE, I buy the dragons from world 2 and I just get XP from those. Anyway, enough bambling on, let's go right into this video and start off with all of the animals in the small pens. Again, if you want to skip to a specific level and a specific pen, check the links out in the description. Let's get into it. Starting off from levels 17 to 28, right off the bat of the tutorial, you want to do rabbits in your small pens. The total time for a rabbit to go from baby to elder is 80 minutes. The experience you get for baby to elder growth is 500 XP when you check the health. That's a very high amount of XP for the level. How do you obtain rabbits? Well you can breed the starting two rabbits that you get in your breeding pen and then move the ones that you breed into your small pens to grow them up. Or you can buy them from World 2 Mana Farm. They're very, very cheap. People pretty much give them away at a very low price and you can buy loads, loads of baby rabbits in order to level up to get to level 28. From levels 28 to 54 in your small pen you want to do chickens. The total time for egg to elder growth is 3 hours and 20 minutes and you get 2500 XP for a full grown chicken. At level 28 2500 XP is so much. How do you obtain these chickens? Well you can buy them from grandma for 25 beans each or you can buy them from the GE for GP. Depending on how many beans you have and depending whether you need to use your beans to buy more pens and stuff, it may be better to go on the GE to buy them unless you're an Iron Man or something, then buying them for beans is the only way. At level 54 plus all the way throughout the rest of your farming training you want to do chin chompers in the small pens. The baby to elder growth of chin chompers is one day 16 hours. The total XP for baby to elder growth is 30,000 experience. These give a lot of XP and I would do them all the way to 99 in your small pens. How do you obtain these? So if you're an Iron Man or something you can hunt any skill chomper in the game and you have a chance of getting the player own farm animal while catching them. But if you're not an Iron Man I definitely would advise buying them from players in World 2 Mana Farm. Baby chins are very easy to get a hold of and they're quite cheap considering they give 30k experience each. I'm not going to go into prices because prices change a lot but I know that chin chompers are about 3 GPN XP currently so it's definitely worth buying them in Mana Farm World 2. But if you try and buy them off of the GE they're very very expensive and not worth it. 
to always go to World 2 Mana Farm when buying any animal that would normally be bought with the GE unless I specify otherwise. At level 35 plus you can start doing medium pens. So from level 35 to 64 in a medium pen you want to do sheep. The total time for a baby to elder growth of a sheep is 2 hours and 30 minutes. They give 1250 XP from baby to elder. How do you obtain sheep? Well you can buy them from grandma for 30 beans each. I would only really do this if you're an Iron Man or something because you want to save your beans for more pens. If you're not an Iron Man you can buy it from the GE for GP. They're not too expensive. Level 64 to 81 in a medium pen you want to do spiders. The total time for an egg to elder growth of a spider is 20 hours. The total experience from egg to elder growth is 20,000 experience. So you can get 20k experience every single spider every day. That's very very good. How do you obtain these? If you're an Iron Man or something and you need to get some spiders, you can kill any species of spiders. They have a chance of giving you an egg but it can be very rare. If you're not an Iron Man, I would definitely advise buying it from players in World 2 Mana Farm. Do not buy the eggs from the GE, they're very very expensive on the GE and you'll get them much cheaper from other players in World 2 Mana Farm. At levels 81 plus, all the way through the rest of your farming training, you want to do Zygomites in medium pens for the best XP. The total time for baby to elder growth of Zygomites is 3 days 8 hours, so it's pretty much half a week. The total experience for baby to elder growth of a Zygomite is 80,000 XP. Yeah, 80k. That's a lot of XP every half a week. How do you obtain Zygomites? You can get them from Arc Mushroom Clusters, and you can also get them from Moshella Mushroom Runs. So if you do your farm runs, do Moshella Mushrooms, you have a chance of Zygomites. And if you do the Arc, while you're getting Shark Soups and stuff, harvesting your mushrooms, you have a chance at Zygomites. If you can't be bothered to do all of this to try and get them, or you're not an Iron Man or anything, and you want to get a large amount, just buy the Gloom Shroom Zygomites from the GE. There is a lot on the GE because they're very, very easy to obtain in the ways I just mentioned. A lot of people sell them after they do some farming on the Ark or something and you can get them for a decent price. They always buy around mid price. Very very good to buy from the GE here. Finally the third category we are doing large pens. From levels 49 to 71 you want to do cows in your large pens. The total time for a baby to elder growth of a cow is 6 hours and 40 minutes. The total experience you get for this is 5000 XP. How do you obtain cows? Well, you can buy them from grandma for 100 beans each. Again, if you're trying to save your beans for more pens and things like that, then it might be better off to buy them from the GE for GP. Unless you're an Iron Man, the only way you can get them is via beans from grandma. If you're a normal account, buying them from the GE isn't too bad as people sell them after buying them with their own beans. From levels 71 to 92, in a large pen, you want to do yaks. The total time for a baby to elder growth of a yak is 3 days 8 hours, so pretty much half a week. The total experience for baby to elder yaks is 65,000 XP, so this is where the big XP comes in. How do you obtain yaks? Well, you could just go kill them in Nay, it's not. Yaks have a very, very rare drop rate though, and unless you're an Iron Man and you really need a yak, then it's really not worth it. You want to be buying them from players in World 2 Mana Farm. Don't buy them from the GE because they're way too expensive from the GE. Go to World 2 Mana Farm and buy some baby yaks. Finally, levels 92 plus all the way for the rest of your farming training, you want to do dragons in a large pen. The total time for an egg to elder growth of a dragon is 6 days 16 hours, so pretty much every week. The total XP that you get from egg to elder growth of a dragon is 200,000 XP. This means every week, from every single dragon you have, you get 200k XP. You can grow 10 dragons at the same time. You can have them in your large pens and your breeding pen. This means the base XP from these dragons without urns or anything would be 2 million every single week. It's insane. How do you obtain the dragons? You get the egg drops from QBD as a 1 in 200 drop rate. Or you go kill normal dragons and they have a drop rate of 1 in 2000. Again, I would only do this if you're an Iron Man and I would buy it from players in World 2 Mana Farm. If you buy a dragon from the GE, they're like 4 mil each or something and you can get them for under a quarter of the price in World 2 Mana Farm. So don't go spend 4 mil on the GE when you go to Mana Farm and get them for like 500, 600k or whatever. 
what I typically do is I'll go to World 2 Mana Farm and I'll buy like 30 dragons to do me for 3 weeks and it takes me like 15 minutes. And it's way, way, way cheaper buying them from Mana Farm than the GE. And in this video off, I just want to talk about an optimal XP route. So if you're 92 or higher farming and you want the optimal XP from player owned farms, you want to put dragons in your large pen, zygomites in your medium pen, and obviously you want to buy the second medium pen with zygomites in and the second large pen with dragons in. You also want to put dragons in your breeding pen as they grow up in your breeding pen. You're not breeding them and it doesn't matter, but you want them to grow up so you put them in here. That means you're growing 10 dragons and 8 zygomites and it's very, very AFK and easy XP every week. You also put Chin Chompers in your small pens. They grow in just under two days, which means you could check them nearly four times a week, but just to make it easier on myself, I check them three times a week, every two days. I get 30k XP per Chin Chomper, and there's 12 here. I check my dragons once a week, as that's how long they take to grow, and I check my Zygomites every half a week because they take half a week to grow. You can wait until Scient becomes a fully elder in order to check their HP. So you don't have to check them in the stages of, you know, like baby to adolescent to adult to elder. You can just wait until they're elder and collect all of the XP all at once from every single stage. But yeah, that's my optimal XP one and I get around 4 million experience every week and I'm going to be 200 mil farming in no time just from player own farms. If you're looking at GP per XP as well, me doing it this way, buying the dragons in World 2, the Chin Chompers in World 2, and the Zygomites off the GE, like I said on each one of the specific animals when I talk about them, it's costing me 3 to 4 GP and XP, which is actually really, really cheap for farming as well. If you are a lower level and you can't do the optimal XP routes, say you're like level 84 or something, you could put your highest thing in the breeding pen. At that time for you, it would be Zygomites. So you would have Zygomites in the breeding pen, the medium pens, you'd have Yaks in your larges and Skill Chompers in your smalls. So always just prioritize your highest XP thing in the breeding pen, then put your highest XP thing in the mediums and the highest XP in the larges. Do that all the way while leveling and you'll make a decent amount of XP every single week. Either way, that's it for this video. Hope you did find it helpful. If you did find it helpful, give it a like. Lots of people were asking for a player own farm leveling guide. Hopefully this was easy and simple to follow. And until next time, see ya.